Hello, I saw on Facebook somebody was asking how to start using the FX9 and the Wi-Fi capabilities that are built in with the uh, free app that is available for Android and for the um, iOS devices. Uh, a quick way to set it up would be one of the ways is how I use it is if I go down to our network abilities access authentication is where we simply make a username and password so anybody who's on the network and has the app wants to connect to this camera needs to have this information and uh, first of all we need eight characters for our password so let's see a b c D and one, two, three, four. So you don't need to write that down to remember it. Uh, then we go back. Then we have the wireless LAN settings. Here there is station mode or access point. Uh, I'm going to show you station mode is one of my favorite ways of working with it, but I can explain about the access point as well. So now we're going to turn on the station mode setting. The camera's takes a few moments to do this. I can activate or deactivate the camera remote control. Is this going to be possible through the app? Yes or no? Let's say yes. And then we can scan for networks in the area. So we're going to scan. And I down here have my little companion. It's a, a little MiFi dongle. This means that it's a SIM card with a battery that gen generates a um, uh, a Wi-Fi in the proximity of this and anything that could be in the area of this for example the camera and the phone could then be on the same network this could be a dedicated route as well or it could be something that's in the building or in the cafe that you might be enjoying a well-earned coffee well this has now found it I will type in the password Again, I like to keep things simple. So in this case, it is capital S. Then we go down to the small buttons. Let's use the wheel instead. So S O N Y. So this is the password just for my Wi-Fi dongle or Wi-Fi dongle. So S O N and and Y. There we go. And I then go down to connect, connect it to network. There should be a small bar up here if you didn't deactivate it with the Wi-Fi status connected. So if we leave the network, there is no bar because the person who used it last Left it. Oh well, we can activate it later in the display menu, or well, we can do it now really quickly. So we go into monitoring, display on off. This is very unsharp. There we go. And network status is off. You can also put the file transfer status on. There we go. And here we have a small Wi-Fi single full strength luckily um, so now this is on the network and it's running so I've borrowed my my wife's phone so I'm just gonna connect to that real quickly and in the in the um, app store you should search for um, content browser mobile It's right there, Content Browser Mobile. And there we go. Download that. Ah, oh, shit. I need my wife's fingerprint. Fingerprint. There we go. There's a baby. And it's downloaded. Okay, 
So with my wife's phone, I've already connected to the same network, so we don't need to bother with the connection issues between the two networks. Uh, it has now searched automatically. There is an FX9 serial number uh, 110. Go for that. And here it asks for a username. And that was the first one we put in. So that's, uh, first of all, that's the admin. And the password was capital letters. So it's a... B, C, D, one, two, three, four. So here we put it in, A, B, C, D, one, two, three, four, and then connect. And there we go. We now got some various things we connected to the camera that we can do. For example, the most, um, most interesting one I find is the monitoring. This means that I can now be away from my camera and I can actually monitor what's what the camera is filming so this display in the viewfinder is this display on the phone and as you see here I have actually the possibility to control all of the items that are yellow right now so that's practically everything I can start stop recording because I enable camera control I can well I can zoom in if I want there's a zoom toggle here so I can zoom in I can zoom out again um, there's also the focus possibility. It's not really a auto, it's a focus pulling device. If you don't want the person to who's watching this maybe to be you know accidentally start stop recording for you because maybe he's a customer, then you could go in and press the lock. So now these functions are locked, and you cannot control it, but you can still monitoring it. So I can then put my hands in front of the camera. So here we go. We have a small test. Another thing I can do, um, well, this is the monitoring app uh, with the camera control, but I also have the possibility to go into browse. So there's no uh, audio in the monitoring, but if I go through the browse, I can then see my proxy clips and do a playback of uh, those proxy clips. Uh, this means that I can then uh, have a have a look. This is independent, so I can I can do a recording on the camera while at the same time doing a playback of a clip on the phone so they work independently i don't need to ask the photographer to do a playback for me because i'm sitting here connected to the app if i wanted to add some metadata or work with the possibilities that is included because the router here has a sim card and that means that the camera and the phone has access to the wi-fi and giving me internet access so i can mark in and then I can scroll over and then I'm do a mark out. And now I have a, 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 an edited clip of my original clip. And then I can upload and then I can choose which destination. I could have pre-programmed some of my customers servers or my own FTP server. And then I can then press OK. And then it will be added to the job list and uh, send the clips home really quickly. This can be automated as well, so you can ask the camera to do this automatically, but this is the essence of what's possible with uh, with this new uh, built-in software that is on this, uh, on this camera. Connect again. There's also planning metadata, so you could have many stored uh, jobs for the day and you can have the agreed metadata that is for every single job. You can activate them when you move from location to location. Uh, storyboard this gives you possibility to do an EDL on the app so it's a small editing software and then you have the job list um, there should be the job list where I just asked it to upload to my FTP because I didn't put in my FTP details it's waiting so I could go in and, and delete this from the list but it would then show me the progress of every single item that I should have sent because this is file transfer and not streaming I won't le lose any details like any frames will go lost or uh, the the metadata uh, the time code and the file name is the same so I have an proxy card shooting on my SD card and then I have the original XQD cards in 4k so I'm recording these sim simultaneously this means that they match each other so I could edit whatever goes through the uh, through the internet and receive it so I could hire an editor 
to to receive this and edit it and then when he has made an edl and sends me the edl i can then take my high res file and then use the edl and re re relink the 4k file so he's already done everything for me or the rough part of it anyhow um there's also the uh, wireless LAN where you go into the access point mode access point mode means that this wi-fi will then be the actual router and that means that the proximity around the camera will then be the um the restriction of where you can go so you can activate the access point mode and then you would have your own network and your own password and then you need to take the phone and log the Wi-Fi from the phone directly to the camera's network so that's also a possibility uh, I like this because it has a sim card so if I take these three items with me I can do almost everything from this little kit that was it I hope it was helpful uh, ask any questions if you like in the um, in the Facebook group thank you